Hey guys, working on a 2017 Volkswagen Beetle and we're going to be doing some spark plugs. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do here is gently pry up around the trim and this will pop up. There are four rivets here, 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 and here. Pull this out and our coil packs are here, 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 and here. One, two, three, and four. Um, first thing I'm going to do here, they all have these terminals on them. I'm going to remove all these 10 mils and pull these off first. And this last one right here. Be very careful to not lose those. And we're going to pull it out. Each one. Okay, cool. Now, before we start pulling these coil packs off, we need to get these sensors out. They're a little bit tricky. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Okay, so to start here, we are going to a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. We're doing that to kind of keep the plastic from letting the crack on us. Let me not do that. I'm going to keep walking down the line. That's another one I hear pop. And this one here. Okay, good. And now, if I'm not mistaken, I think I can kind of come up here on the side. Yep, just like that. Gently kind of push. This is scary. There's <sighs> two. There we go, that's three. And four. Holy moly. Talk about scary. And just gently pry it off. And I gotta move the air box back a little bit to give you the clearance. that you're going to need. That's one. That's two. And that's three. Whew. Holy mackerel. Okay. Now, we can start pulling these coil packs out. Okay, so already I'm loosening these three. We're going to come here. 10 mil. Break it. Pull this out, put it away. Now, I want to kind of see. Can't really. I'm going to have to just kind of play with this. There you go. And we're going to gently wiggle. That boy is in there. There she go. Oof. And she's out. Good. Um, I'm not replacing the ignition coils. I'll put the part number in here. We don't actually have a check engine light for misfire codes. But um, if you are, I'll put the actual part number if you want the OEM version of these, okay? Let's get our spark plug. I mean, let's get our spark plug socket in there. I have a actual spark plug socket in here. It has a magnet in here. So when it comes out, it'll pull out with the socket. And we're going to... Drop her in there gently, just like that. Let's pull her out. I'm not gonna use the gun for this. Want her to come out nice and slow. And she's out. Beautiful. All right, let's compare our parts. Okay, let's talk spark plugs here. Just so you guys know, See how this says Volkswagen? Volkswagen doesn't make spark plugs, you guys. This is an NGK, just so you know. The actual OEM part number OEM spark plug is an NGK laser iridium. I'll put the part number in the description um, in the description. But uh make sure you get the OEM 
do not get anything different this is the 1.8 liter turbo um, you're not supposed to gap these plugs but it's okay to check them they're supposed to be at 0 0.030 seconds this is a turbocharged car so the gap is usually smaller um, 0.30 second I have 0.3 and 0.35 so we should have resistance and we have resistance that's good all right I'm gonna check all of them but now that we have this I also want to mention this has this silver coating this silver coating is a zinc coating meaning that you're not supposed to put NICs on these if you put NICs in here the NICs can run down the plug and foul it out so if you see this zinc coating do not put NICs on here okay this is our old one that's our new one let's put it in um, I'm using a spark plug socket tool all I'm gonna tell you is please do not be that person who just drops the spark plug down you could damage it you could mess it up if you don't have a spark plug socket tool you could use a magnet and let it down gently and turn it until it catches the threads okay so for now we're just gonna tighten it down I'm gonna keep going until it feels like it that's good right there we're gonna stop now in case you're curious um, these do have a torque spec for you torque monsters Let's just say you're nervous, you don't know if you tighten it enough, you think you tighten it too much, 22 foot-pounds is the torque spec, so look at that, that was literally perfect, it's about as tight as you tighten, tighten a drain plug, alright, hold on, let's get the ignition coil, so I have something called dielectric grease here, dielectric grease helps reduce the uh, resistance between the ignition coil and the spark plug also the dielectric grease will help with future removal so i'm gonna get a little bit in here like this swirl it around the walls go as deep as you want just like that now i'm going to pop this in and with the dielectric grease we should hear a good little pop sound and i'm going to do these one at a time by the way oh okay just the way that their packs are designed but no problem we're gonna get that in i'm gonna tighten this down with the thing and we're just gonna do this three more times over all right just like that I'm at the last one this one is a bit challenging because it is surrounded by the valve cover so I'm gonna kind of get my flathead in here like this and kind of gently pry upwards kind of come here and get under it I believe it's coming out. And I believe she's out. Oof. These things are scary because they flex so much and they have like these little little rivets here. So like it feels like when you're pulling on it, it feels like the thing's gonna separate. But I think it's really just the rubber kind of fighting from being in the spark plug well. Let's get the last one in all your coils back in remember to snug these down don't not kill them should be like that feels perfect too much more you could you could break them now we're gonna have to play with the whole harness here and kind of catch every one I hate the way Volkswagen does this stuff <clears throat> okay okay another one oh holy moly jesus this stuff is scary that's one click that's two click hold on that's, th that's three and that's four kind of give them the tug the pull test ain't moving ain't moving Jesus. Now, now, put all these back. 
like so. Now we're just gonna do a slight snug down on all of our our uh, turn our straps, just like that. <laughs> nice. And before we put the, our our cover back on, we're gonna jump in the car. We're gonna fire her up. Let's talk about the old plugs real fast. Okay. Well, you see here we have all of our old plugs. One thing you want to inspect is look at the look at how they all look the condition. They're nice clean burns. Nothing's soaked with oil, nothing's wet with gas. Um, none of these electrodes look damaged or corroded or anything like that. That's good. That's what a healthy engine looks like. Also, if you see oil in your spark plugs, like if these are coated with oil or soaked with oil, that could mean that your spark plug tube seals are leaking and they're running down the cylinder. I mean they're running down the walls and they're gonna um they're gonna uh the the oil will foul out the spark plugs and the ignition coils. So if you nice uniform clean burn so we know this engine is running good. <clears throat> now I did just put spark plugs in here. Um when you put new spark plugs in the first time you start it up sometimes it can be a little janky. We might have to hit the accelerator pedal. We'll see how she starts up. Let's give her a go. Oh, gotta be on the paper. She started right up. Awesome. Nice. Alright. So, see how she runs? Okay. And she's running like a bird. Got her cover back on. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Out.